Heading out for practice here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The GOAT is heading out. Bob Smith is right there as well. So, we're going to freeze frame right here. What's going to happen to the GOAT? A. He's going to spin it heading out of pit road and right into the direction of Bob Smith. B. Bob Smith is going to spin him out. C. The GOAT is going to spin onto the track and into the path of cars already doing practice laps. Or D. The GOAT's going to uh, keep it straight until the uh, back straight at least. Let's uh, find out. Well, if you picked B, you are correct. And, uh, well, nearly hit a Dahi Hidaka, as you can see there, but uh, he managed to, uh, well, he kept his cool. Hidaka kept, his, kept her cool. And, uh, well, looks like the GOAT will be just fine. There we go. Let's see if he makes it to the back straight. I think he made it to the back straight. By the way, if you're wondering how the west rest of the uh, first part of the uh, GOAT's timeout on the track in practice today went, I'll let the images speak for themselves. What's up, peeps of Santa Fe? We're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, formerly known as Lowe's Motor Speedway. Yeah. Yeah, nowadays we're too cool for uh, speedways that are sponsored by, you know, peeps that ain't, uh, well, International Motor Speedway Corporation or whatever they're called. There's like two of them or something. There's the ones that own ones like Charlotte and Las Vegas with that cool logo, and then there's the ones that owns all the other ones with their own separate sorts of logos and crap. Who's got two thumbs and is starting on pole today? It's the GOAT, of course. Nobody else here has two thumbs. They all lost them in freak accidents caused by the GOAT, of course. You might have seen them during the actual races. You might have seen them during practice. Or happy hour. You might not have seen them at all. Mm. we got Riley Spurley, Steve Morgan, Clyde Bentner, RJ Sherry, Isaac Carter, Edward Thompson, Sakata Honda, Ryan Herman, Fur, Carl Harrison, McGowan. we got... Okay then. We got Julia Dyer, we got Brian Barker, we got Brandon Reed, Bob and Floba, Bob Smith, Ahi Dyke, Rupert Weiss, Mila Alexander Cornish, Constantine Vard, Levin, Roy, Roy, Roy Fairman, Zach Mills, Kyle Mess, Evan Rudd. It's Evan apparently, not Eric. Okay. So, I'm sorry man. I'm terrible with names. I can't even remember people at my own school. My days. We got Patrick Smith. We got Chase Cooper, Clive Winters, Zami Fatami, Jackson Cooter Jr., Chase McDowell, Derek Hammond, and we got Adam McDowell. It's right there. We got no, no, no. We got James Saunders, Matthew Flanagan, Tony Brown, David Weissmuller, John Speed, Eric Monaco, and rounding out the field, Mommy Fatami and Alfred Foster Jones. Twenty laps around this. Uh, what's it called again? Quad oval. Yeah, quad oval. And we are green. Oh, days. That's a terrible start from the goat. He's gonna hold back his old. In his entire inside line. That's absolutely terrible. Oh, that's a horrendous start from the goat there, who's been so fast all weekend, but, you know, he's probably just stuck in fourth gear or something. 
Um, and uh, well, his whole his whole line is going to be oh no, he's just slicing and dicing, really swerving through the field. There he goes back out onto the racetrack. Um, so uh, your leader is Riley Sparley. Klein Bettner following closely behind. R.J. Sherry, Saki de Honda, Ryan Herman, Julia Dyer in their own little pack behind the uh, top two there. Brian Barker managed to get passed by the goats and uh, oh. oh there goes Klein Bettner down right or, no, uh, I'm, I'm confused. Riley Spurley's inside down the back straight. There he goes into turn three. RJ Sherry Saga to Honda catch, catching up of course. Ryan Herman and Julia Dyer falling close behind. Here comes the goats trying to get by Julia Dyer there. He's going to try to go in on the outside. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that. Here these guys are going too wide already. Here comes Klein Bender still trying to get by. Uh, Riley Spurley on the inside. I keep mixing him up with uh, RJ Sherry, probably because they're both driving RCR cars. Blue Chevy Monte Carlos. No oh dear. Saki to Honda up in front of RJ Sherry, actually. Julia Dyer trying to get by Ryan Herman on the inside. And here comes the goat as well. Brian Barker catching up to the goat, actually. So it says something about how fast the goat is going, actually. He's going down the inside of Ryan Herman. He's going to be able to beat him to the line. Yes, he is. And that's, uh, wow, this is a fantastic battle that we're seeing here so far. Of course, it's Klein Bettner into the lead because he is Klein Bettner and he's just been dominating this first part of the season so far. But, uh, well, it's a bunch of guys behind him that might spoil the win, even down to Edward Thompson all the way back there in something like 10th where he usually is. He's 11th, actually. Here comes the Goats trying to get by RJ Sherry on the inside. Love you too, Mom. Mom, I'm always, uh, I'm always getting interrupted by my parents while I'm trying to make videos, so uh, it was, uh, it's Julia Dyer up in the fourth. And the goat rounding up the top five, which looks like R.J. Sherry's in sixth, Ryan Irwin seventh, Brian Barker eighth, Steve Morgan ninth, and Isaac Carter up in tenth position. Klein Bender holding a pretty decent lead over Riley Spurley, and, uh, well, could get changed at any minute now. Riley Spurley, of course, the one complaining I was calling Eric Rudd, Eric Rudd. His name is actually Evan Rudd. I should have said Evan Rudd, Eric Rudd. But, uh... Uh, my new details, there goes the goats. Uh, he's, well, he's actually spaced himself out quite a bit uh, from uh, Julia Dyer in front. There he goes up the outside line, bottoming the car out like a... Um, something that bottoms out a lot. I don't know, probably my dad's Avalon. We're trying to get it out of the driveway. Unless we turn the wheels, which we usually do. That's to go up into fourth, fourth space. Place. Regardless, so uh, I don't know. Pretty tame to me. I don't know about you, but Riley Spurley's not looking very happy about having to stay behind Klein Bender. Here comes the goats on the inside down the Brax Brack? Back straight. I can't speak today. And I have to go to Mass soon, so I want to get this up as soon as I can. Looks like the goat's trying to go for the uh, outside line instead behind Saki to Honda. There he goes down the front straight there he's headed to the inside once again and uh, wow the news today has been nothing but people dying not least of which a country music star and a World War II veteran uh, the latter in pretty disgusting uh, circumstances not humanity at its finest I don't think but uh, we'll gloss over that this is not the place for uh, oh my days the goat getting by all three cars in front of him Honda Spurly and Bettner overtakes of the week the goat is in the lead. That's absolutely fantastic. He's going to pull a Hamlin. Well, here comes Sock and Honda down. Riley Spurley's inside. Spurley, of course, has been trying to get by Bettner for the fast, past few laps. And, uh, well, now he's been shunted to the outside. And that's Honda up into third, taking that podium position away from Spurley. But uh, Bettner's not exactly pleased either with uh, having lost the lead to the goats, of course, because he is the goat after all. Oh, oh, scraped the wall a bit, I believe. Lap 10 of 20 at the halfway point in this race. Well, it will be once so lap 11 starts with 10 laps to go when 10 laps have been completed. Wrap your head around that, mathematicians. Yeah, deal with it. Let's take a look at your order. Of course, the GOAT's leading the race. Look at that lead he's built up already. It's ridiculous. Klein Bettner's up in second. Saki to Honda third. Arley. Riley. Spurley fourth. Julia Dyer fifth. RJ Sherry sixth. Ryan Herman seventh. Steve Morgan eighth. Brian Barker knife and Isaac Carter rounding on the top ten. As you can probably tell, I don't do second takes because I can't be asked to do second takes. We got Edward Thompson in eleventh. Um, these cars in the way as, as as per usual it seems. Uh, we got Bob Smith at thirteenth though. Fur Collins definitely gonna want to take away that uh, unlucky position really. Bob and Flo is in fifteenth. Just spat on my monitor again. That's gonna have to get cleaned soon again because I cleaned it in like a full 
year, two, two years actually, had to clean it all, just, just got it cleaned a few weeks ago, so, uh, anyways, where were we, Harrison McAllison, 16th, Vahidaki, 17th, Fourth, Fairbairn, 18th, Costi, Mabard, 11th, 19th, and Zach Mills, rounding out the top half of the field, Rick Weissman, 21st, Alex, who cares, as usual, it's more bunched up in the back of the field, and, uh, Just uh, blowing my nose. No, Mom, I'm not eating my boogers. It's no big deal. It's not your business if I do. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, I see you. You watch yourself. Last place is John Speed, 39th. Alfred Foster Jones, Matthew Flanagan, 38th. Uh, and uh, the goat slowed down, actually. He's going to be making a pit stop. He's got some damage on the side of his car, so that might slow his pit stop down. You see Klein Fender, Socket Hyde, and Riley Spurler retaking the podium spots as the goat heads in to the pits. Looks like Bob Smith is going to follow him in. Let's see if anyone else does. Looks like Chase McDowell as well. Heading into the pits with uh, well, Bob Smith and the Goat, of course, will have the uh, decent uh, camera angles for the Goat's pit stop. Doesn't really matter how fast they get those tires and fuel in because uh, he's going to have to repair that damage, of course. Uh, it's definitely going to slow him down quite a bit, and, uh, oh, here comes, uh, the rest of the lead pack into the pits. Klein, Bender, Socket, Honda, Riley, Spurler, I just share Julia Dye, Ryan, Hermes, you see Steve Morgan up there, and everybody's just filing in, a few other guys, and, uh, that's to go, just exiting his pit stall as Riley Spurley heads in to his pit stall. Well, it looks like nobody's getting tired there. There you go, Klein, Bentner, Socket, Honda getting out a bit more quickly is what it's looking like, and, uh, well, Goat's definitely got a lot of ground to make up. Here they go out of pit road. Who's going to, well, Klein Bentner's going slower. Socket Ahana's just going to take the lead away from him. Clean, as you like. Looks like Julian Dyer's going to be up into third. Brian Barker, fourth. Riley's Burley, fifth. Steve Morgan, sixth. Brendan Reed, seventh. Arja Sherry, eighth. Edward Thompson, ninth. Bob and Flobo, tenth. Brian Herman, eleventh. Oh dear, Rupert Weissmuller has been sent into the wall by Zach Wills. John Speed gets a piece of it. Here comes Kyler. Oh, Barton Levin hits into Weissmuller as well. Gives him a smoking engine. That's the caution out on lap 15 of, uh... Well, Bandy Clams. Bandy Clam? Might as well call it Bandy Clam. Bandy Clam is quite clearly not interested in anything I have to say. So, I'm going to take a look at this once again. Uh, Rupert Weissmuller and Zach Mills trying to merge back onto the track at the same time. Weissmuller turns into the, uh front left bumper of, well, front left side of the bumper of, uh, Zach Mills. John Speed gets collected. Von Bartle even gets a piece of it. You can't really tell, but, uh, yeah. I think John Speed actually just ended up getting the worst of it. Right into the rear end went his car. Zach Mills going around, of course, into the inside wall, but, uh, let's take a look at Von Bartle even's, uh, onboard camera here. Yeah, you can hear that, uh, little piece in that little touch right there. Take a look at Zach Mills, uh, I guess, uh, onboard camera. Yep. Nowhere to go. Let's so that's a caution out, so I do believe that means Sakura Honda is uh, going to be a leader under the caution. And uh, I think you can guess what happens. Lap 17, oh, well. Lap 17, Honda's leading the race. Lap 18, Honda's leading the, leading the race. Lap 19 is quite clear that the pace car is not coming in anytime soon. White flag is out. And, uh, yeah. Sakata Honda's gonna win the race under caution. The checkered flag is out. So, yeah, there's that. Bitter blow for the goat to uh, end up finished. Oh dear, he's hit right into Tony Brown there. It goes spinning wildly. Evan Rudd gets a piece of him. Ah, as you can see, I've got Evan Rudd's name correct there. But uh, the goat's quite clearly not happy because he's finished 36 today. But he'll definitely be happy that Saki and Han has won today. Anybody get Klein Bentner, of course. I guess the goat's got something about against Klein Bentner. Not sure. Not sure what that could be. No idea. 
Now the pace car's lonely. It's quite sad. Look at him just driving out there by himself. Goat was fast in practice, qualifying, and happy hour. Didn't do him much good as usual. Sakata Honda wins today, Klein Benner, Julia Dyer on the podium with her, Brian Barker, Riley Spurley, 4th and 5th. Steve Morgan, Brendan Reed, RJ Sherry, Edward Thompson, Bob Smith rounding out the top 10. Bob and Flo, Ryan, Herman, Roy, Fairman, Ahidaka, Chase McDowell, Evan Rudd, Alexander Cornish, Kyle Mess, Harrison McGowell, and James Saunders rounding out the top 20. Tony Brown, Ami Fatami, Chase Cooper, Jackson Carter Jr., Mommy Fatami, Patrick Smith, Clive Winters, Derek Camel, Adam McDowell, Isaac Carter, Matthew Flanagan, Alfred Foster Jones, Ferro, Carl and Eric Monica, David Weiss, Mill, the Goat, and Zach Mills, last lead lap finishers. Constantine Lombard living came home a lap down, and Rupert Weissmuller and John Speed retired after that accident. Weissmuller being scored as the accident, Speed being scored as the retirement. On the tail end, once again, Sakata Honda ekes out a win at Lowe's Night. Next race, Dover. We were just here in the Cup Series, so. Yay! Client Bender is still leading the points, and uh, Sakata Honda is now a two time winner. Wow. So far, not well. There's been a bit of variety, but uh, yeah, these guys are quite clearly dominating so far. Brian Barker has yet to win, but uh, he's tied for the most top tens. It looks like with uh, Steve Morgan and Julia Dyer, they've been pretty consistent, of course. The only person who has finished every race so far is Patrick Smith. Was so close to. He's already two laps below all the rest. And Patrick Smith, quite surprisingly, the only person who has finished every race so far. As long as the ghost in the series, that's 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 not. That's probably not gonna stay consistent. He's in 30th last place. Derek Hamill, of course, not even a top 10. It's been Hannah Food. It's been a time and a half. And on, and I will see you in the next video.